How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> it is uh, February 24th, 2018. February 24th, 2018. My name is Marcus Conti. I am the sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Index number 101058-2016. Case will be heard on March 7th. Wednesday, March 7th at 2 p.m. I'll put the information down below. It is an open hearing. You could um, come and listen over at the Appellate Division in New York, 27 Madison Avenue. Also, the City Council will be meeting on uh, 313, um, March 13th at 1 p.m. Tuesday, March 13th at 1 p.m. at City Hall. I'll put that link down below, too. Two very important uh, dates. But what do we have here? What do we have here? I cracked my knuckles to this one. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> there's a uh, hot story right now in City Hall in New York City where Bill de Blasio, uh, Mayor Bill de Blasio, has been caught in a corruption scheme where money flowed into his uh, campaign and uh, out the other door went a bunch of favors and it's it's extensive there's you know the numbers are one number uh the, the new york post is quoting is a 72 million dollar profit from a uh, a sweetheart deal so let's see what the uh, new york post editorial board february 22nd at uh, 7 p.m so it's two days ago at night they wrote this um really beautiful great work new york post knocking the skin off the ball <laughs> Gotta love it. So, so here we go. Richard um, Morales was fired as deputy commissioner of citywide administrative services for blowing the whistle on two instances of government corruption. Sang pleaded guilty to bribing top de Blasio uh, administration officials for special favors, including one Morales block. Now, that the those are those points are relevant to me, right? And they're irrelevant, really, to this case. D did de Blasio take bribes? Of course, they, they all do it, right? Did, did, the, did the, the guy get caught and, and he pleads, pleads guilty to, to take, you know, to, to, uh, to the bribery? Of course, th this, is what, this is what politicians do. The revealing part of this is that Morales blew the whistle and was fired. Two guards walked in and had him arrested. So let's keep reading. All right. So um, all of this happens, right? And no one at City Hall from de Blasio on down was even charged, let alone convicted for corruption, right? Morales this week officially filed a long planned lawsuit against City Hall and is bolstered and it bolsters what from the start we've contended is a pretty good case that he was axed as a warning to other whistleblowers. Morales had been cooperating with investigators on two matters, a mysterious deed change that allowed the sale of a Lower East Side nursing home to developers who netted $72 million in profit and strong arm efforts to cut Sang, one of the other guys, a sweetheart deal. In both cases, Morales insisted he tried to stop this kind of special treatment, quote, special treatment. Prosecutors acknowledge Team de Blasio gave to various fat cat donors like Sang. Morales says he was present when a top de Blasio aide pressured his boss to construct a totally false narrative that would exonerate the mayor's office in the nursing home fiasco. This even, this, even though city controller Scott Singer later found the process involved dozens of administrative officials, including three city commissioners. As for Sang, by accepting his guilty plea, prosecutors endorsed the veracity of his bribery claim. For the record, the mayor denies everything. We recognize that a Supreme Court ruling was made, made it unnecessarily hard to get a corruption conviction, but the lack of any criminal charges at, at all simply boggles the mind. Right? So there's a New York Post editorial board. I'll put the link down below. So what does it say? It says that retaliation is alive and well. Not only in another article, it said that Morales 
the way he was fired is that de Blasio had uh, literally armed guards come to his desk and remove him from the premises. They treated him like a criminal. Right? This was hours after the uh, bribery um, fiasco broke in the news, right? And so Morales, Ricardo Morales, <laughs> gotta love it, gotta love it. So, uh, uh, you know, I'll keep talking about this stuff. Um, I'll be, uh, we'll be in court, uh, you know, again, the dates, March 7th, Conti vs. DSNY, it's textbook. This is how the city operates. They, they use bully tactics. They, 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 they say you're incompetent. They say you're, 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 you didn't do your job, whatever else they make up. And then, but the real reason is retaliation. Don't shh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. This is a business. All right. All right so I'm going to, I'm going to keep reporting. So I'll be, uh, I'll be here. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.